Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Melissa. We actually met online. You know, we actually never would have met, I don't think, otherwise. Originally, I had tried one time to do an at-home insemination, uh, the first round, and uh, it was a no-go. By that time, I was so frustrated. I just felt like I wanted to have a little bit more of a controlled environment. So um, I did an IUI, and the second month, we got pregnant. I would say that I had a really perfect pregnancy, actually. I was very lucky. She came out ha happy and healthy and great. When we started talking about what kind of donor we wanted, we asked a few guys that were in our life at the time. And looking back now, there's no way it would have been a good idea. It's kind of a testament to who they are as guys because most of the reason was that they would want to be involved. As a father, they just didn't feel like they could just be like, yeah, here's your kid, great, have a good life, which is kind of what we were asking. So we were actually very thankful in hindsight that they said no. Um, and once we got enough no's, we sort of felt like maybe this is not the right decision for us. At that point, we switched gears. We had the option, you know, at the Crab Inc. to pick somebody who was willing to be known or just completely anonymous. So we thought, well, at least, you know, they would be willing to talk to Samantha when she was 18. So for us, we felt like that was a good compromise to have the, the willing to be known element in there. You know, we went through kind of the criteria that we thought we wanted. We just weren't finding anybody that clicked with us. It was a really random thing, but we thought, well, maybe we should look at the mixed race donors. And then when we did that, right away, there was one that just popped right out that was amazing. And, and then now we have Sammy and she's a great kid. And I mean, fate works in really weird ways. And <laughs> Sammy has definitely brought up the question about her dad um, since she could talk. In the beginning, it was sort of more of a logistical question because she would see her friends at school, like the dads would pick them up and literally, why is he not here? So we initially, kind of in very simple terms, you don't have a dad, you have two moms. We never sort of told it to her like, it was either or, we, just, we always presented it in a way that there were like eight or nine different families. And she happens to be this one. So it's just normal to her. The way we're gonna present it to her is that she does, that she has a donor, and we're not gonna say ever that she has a dad because I think that's not what he is, he's a donor. From that donor, there are other families that he helped and that she does have brothers and sisters. And I think she's gonna be beside herself when she hears because all she wants is a brother and sister. It's very difficult in the beginning because, you know, you have challenges that heterosexual families don't have. So I really think if you can educate yourself before you start the process, um, really sit down and read everything you can get your hands on, like really feel like you understand how literally the insemination process works. Because once you know how it works, like biologically and logistically, I think that it saves you a lot of money and time because you don't kind of blindly just go into it and, and just sort of like, I'm going to get pregnant. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> As she's getting older now, what I'm really realizing is the, the responsibility that you have of you're actually forming this person's life. She watches football on Sundays with Missy. She's going to grow up and be a football fan, you know, and I am not a football fan. I actually despise football. She's happy, she's healthy, and, and that's what matters. We can go on these great trips or we can do all these things, but at the end of the day, you know, once you've done those things, what, what do you, what, what's the point? What like, have? what do you have? You yeah. know, if you have this, this is, you know, like life. I mean, this is the point. There are a thousand excuses that you'll have. There will be a thousand reasons on why not to do it. I don't have enough money. I don't, um, you know, are we in a position to be able to do so? But sometimes you just have to, to take the leap of faith and go for it because the reward is priceless.